This is a Viltrox focal reducer. And basically what it does is it adapts one type of lens to a different type of mount. So this particular one that I'm holding is an EF, Canon EF to Canon EFM. So it allows me to use EF lenses such as this 50 millimeter EF lens with my Canon M50. So right now, this is an example of an EFM lens, a 22 millimeter EFM. As you can see, the mounts are different, okay? Sorry, I just showed you the Vil Viltrox mount there, which is exactly the same as EFM. So there you go. It allows me to use all of these lenses that I already have, because I used to have a normal 300 EOS 300 with the uh, APS-C sensor and the EF lens range. So all my lenses are now usable. But the thing that is actually really amazing with this adapter or mount is that it's got this lens in it, which is the focal reducer. And what that does is it allows your camera not only to use the other lenses with this camera, but it focuses the light down so that it matches the sensor perfectly. This sensor has a crop factor of something like 1.6 or 1.5, I can't quite remember. And the, the uh, focal factor of this just negates that, such that you get very close to 50 millimeters displayed on the sensor. Effectively, it turns my M50, which is a mirrorless camera, into a full frame camera. I'm able to use these lenses and I get the full benefit of the 50 millimeters. Whereas on my EOS 350D, I actually wasn't getting 50 millimeters. I was getting something like 75 millimeters or something close to 80 millimeters. But with this, I'm actually getting the full 50 millimeters as if I was using it on a mirrorless camera, like something like a Canon 5D. That's really amazing. Another thing that it does is because it's compressing the light, you're getting one extra stop, sometimes two extra stops of light, which means you can take pictures in low light that are cleaner because you can go up to a lower ISO, it turns it into a low light beast. I'm gonna reduce the light here. So I've cut the light a bit. Now if you look at the settings, this is a 50 millimeter F 1.8 lens, right? But if I go to change the F stop, you can see that I can now achieve F 1.2. So it's turned my F 1.8 lens to an F 1.2 effective, which is two stops of light, which is amazing. So look at that, that's a 50 millimeter frame that I'm getting with this camera. If I didn't have the focal reducer, it looks something more like that, right? 50 millimeter frame, and at lower light, I'm still getting a beautiful clean photo. Look at the ISO, it's at 100, because I'm able to go down to 1.4. Absolutely highly recommend. It's the best thing that you can get for a camera like this.